Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Seal Beach, California at Original Parts Group headquarters. And we're in the warehouse section, which is where they keep some of the cars that they've tested and worked on for you. With that being said, I'm with Jeff Farina. Jeff, tell them what you do here for the company. Uh, I'm the sourcing manager here. My team and I are responsible for chasing down all the parts you see in our catalogs and on our website. With the car that we have here today, this is a fat daddy caddy. What do we have? <laughs> what we have here is a 1976 Eldorado, Cadillac Eldorado convertible. Take a look. When you drive up in this, this says you've done something in life. Wow. Ah. This is one of America's Cadillacs said class. And look at the detail on the front of this one. All of the trim. And 76 was the last year they said for a convertible. They were saying that there may never be another convertible. So people kind of clamored to the 76. It was a very popular year. It was the last year for this particular body style, exactly in the convertible. Now, what parts, we're going to step back for a moment, we'll come back in. What parts do you do for this car? Well, for this particular car, we do a lot of the trim around the bumpers. We do some of the mirrors. We do make some emblems. We offer some of the filler pieces that go between the rear quarter panel and the tail light section. Uh, we do a handful of interior components as well. That's and, some, and some others that are coming in the near future. There's this matte finish on there that you can see. The big turn signal light, which when you turn the turn signal on, that lights. This nice piece that goes right down the side. And look at the haunches down here. The big Cadillac mirrors. The hideaway wipers, the convertible top, the thin back end, <laughs> just even some of the body styling in here. Our Cadillac emblem that sticks out because we this actually is actually manufactured that particular piece right there. Is that right? Yes. That's why it looks perfect. And just take a look at the tail light. Which I thought just looks so classy. And it has kind of a spring load or something for protection. Let's take a look in the trunk, shall Let's we? Let's check it out. One of the neat features of this particular car yeah. is the automatic trunk release. Okay. So you're in the driver's seat and all you gotta do is reach over, push the button, and she's open. Nice, I'll let you grab that. Lots of room. Not as much as I was expecting actually. No. I mean it's big, don't get me wrong, you could easily jump in there. But when you think Cadillac. Well, you know, you do have the convertible top being back a, there. Being a convertible, this the trunk space is a bit smaller. If it was a coupe, it would be more. Mm -hmm. And this car's all original, so all those decals you see, while we do have a lot of reproductions available, mm -hmm. everything we see here is original to 1976, including what is an early version of what you see in cars today with a space saver spare. This is the original spare wheel and tire setup. And you can see this is not inflated. What GM did is included a can of tire inflator specific to this particular wheel size and, and wheel and rim combination. You plug this in with your plug this into your Schrader valve on the on the wheel, it inflates, then you've got a spare. But it doesn't take up so much room in the trunk compartment. Interesting. Now we see things like that much more often. Absolutely. I'm so. going to come over here. We'll shut that trunk, please. 
Notice how it squeezes it shut. And just look at that angle right there. Mm. So luxurious. I love how this point comes here. That's a heavy door. It is a heavy door. Everything about this car is heavy duty. It's a lot of car. I don't know what doors normally weigh, but those hinges have to be special because that door feels like it has weight on it. Yeah, a loaded door probably weighs 40 to 50 pounds on most cars of this era. This particular door, I would probably put it at closer between 60 and 80 pounds. Wow. Still nice class in there. All the detail Added. included in this was just phenomenal. So easy to show the back. But when you're in the back, you've got these nice Cadillac emblems on the ashtray, giving a very custom look. This nice curvature piece here. Sit in these big cozy seats. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's real nice. It's like riding on a pillow. It is like riding on a pillow. I would probably fall asleep in this car. <laughs> Come home from some event at, a little later at night. Driving this home, it probably floats when it's driving. It does. It floats oh, across the road. Goodness. That's for sure. This is actually. Only a good car for Lou in the daytime with the top down. Top down and it, just cruise. Yeah, too cozy for me. I mean, it's comfy just sitting in here. Let me show all those pieces. Kind of focus on one of the neat pieces of this for the <laughs> mirrors is the knob right there. This one? Is, that is the remote mirror knob for the passenger mirror. So you can sit in your driver's seat and adjust really? your passenger mirror without having to reach across and that roll is, down the window or ask your buddy to come and do it for you. That is pretty cool. And I like how, if you, if you notice, there's this extra trim piece right here. And it has things in it. First of all, I'm going to look over your shoulder when you start this thing. Because first of all, it has your gas. Then you can't see this, but there's some idiot lights there. There are. And then you have your time that it's showing you. And then as we go a little farther, the word Cadillac. I just want to show this little, you can see it really nice, but it shows the woodwork in here. And then of course, the word Eldorado. Wow, really nice. With the lights on inside. Okay, let's uh, pop the hood. And then when you do start it, I want to see the uh, those lights. That's a sizable hood. It is a lot of hood. And you can pop all the way. Okay. You need me to pull that and you pull if you, if you you know what? Yeah. Let me pull that. You do that and I'll do this because we're it, working it, together on this one. It's a team effort. Okay, so here's our hood pull. There we go. Just need a little bit more. Alright. And then before get I forget this one. <laughs> Let me just step back for a second and show this. Can you stand right next to that? Sure. That's a lot of hood. That's a lot of hood. You're, you're what, 6'1", 6'2"? Six 6'2". Six six That's a lot of hood. What size engine do you Is this front-wheel drive? This is a front-wheel drive car. This has got a 500 cubic inch Cadillac engine. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, it's it's 
A lot of power, a lot of torque. You need that for the, the weight of this vehicle. It's not exactly fuel friendly, but it sure is a fun car to drive. Not exactly fuel friendly. <laughs> Danger, fan blade. So it's pretty original as you see it. We've done a little bit of work on it, but not, not a ton, not a ton. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna look over your shoulder to see if the dash kind of shows us stuff. Sure. What is, what is, I'm curious, do you have any idea what that is right next to the brake? It's got a little tag on it. This is part yeah. of the braking system. There's an actual, it's a hydro boost unit that assists the brake. Whereas uh, some earlier cars use a vacuum booster. You see a large canister behind the, behind the master cylinder. This actually runs off of, you see these hoses here. I do. These run down to the power steering pump. So this runs on hydraulic pressure. Wow. Okay. It all circulates, it's tied in together, and that helps assist that's the braking. That's one massive cooling piece, too, here. It really is. It's a radiator and a half. Okay, all right, let's, uh, this time I'll look over your shoulders so we can see those light up. There we go. We've got fastened belts and a generator light that come on. Jet engine sound to it. Let's uh, when, can you step on the brakes for just a second? Sure. Oh, wonderful. All right, let's uh, let's give it a rest, shall we? One more time. Wonderful. Oh, we can shut that down. The beautiful whoosh of the Cadillac. The sound of power and quietness all together. Well, while you're closing that, I'll just share with people that they can subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, they can see all the cars on the channel. If you want to find out more about a regular parts group, go in the description in the text and we'll have that text there. When you take this one out, what's the reaction? Thumbs up from everybody. Yeah? People dig it. They really do. <laughs> yeah. That's, I, you can't, you can't help but love it. It's, it just, Oozes 70s style and it's a Cadillac, so you can't go wrong. Jeff, a real treat. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here, Lou. Thank you. Thank you very much.